Hello and welcome to one of your first looks at Storyboard version 1.2. One of the big features coming out in our 1.2 is our collaboration plugin. What collaboration will do is enable people to deal with their user interface in a code repository the same way they're dealing with any other piece of C code. So as I make changes to my user interface, like whether it be fonts, images, changing things around, adding new screens, removing or adding controls, I can see those differences in how my UIs change throughout time and version check-ins and get the granularity to find exactly what's changed, not just see it at a snapshot level, but to see the individual pieces that have moved inside of each snapshot. Um, so here we're going to take a very simple uh, sample that we have, that's just a bunch of screens here. Um, I've checked it into a Git repository so we can watch it and uh, check it in and version control it. Um, what we can do here now is just simply start making some changes to our user interface and see how we can then look at those and evaluate the changes afterwards. So I'll just move some buttons around to give the, to give the display a different look and feel. Um, we can change the font to be a different type, uh, maybe even different size. So you know, change all these different little pieces. Um, we can give it even a different color to um, anything that we want this way. So, you know, all these little small changes that would happen, you know, resizing, adjusting, you know, changing behavior and functionality can all be captured now. So, I'll make my album art a little bit bigger. To do this, I'll have to turn the scale flag on, and maybe I want to move these guys a little bit further away from them. Maybe align them there. Um, you know, now I have a few different changes done inside of here. So let me come inside of here. I'll save that. And what I'm going to do here is just compare it against a different version. Um, so if we capture him, grab a different version of it, now we can simply say, I'd like to compare with each other. Um, this compare will be going against repository in our next week or so before our release. But for now, we're just comparing against a another version of the exact same project that's local. So right now what's happening is the compare is going through, looking through each model and finding all the differences inside of it. And then it'll show it inside of our team synchronization view. Collaboration is really important when you're dealing inside of large teams because once you have more than one person with his fingers in the pot, so to speak, it's very hard to follow what changes have been made throughout time. So to be able to see all these changes and especially when multiple people are changing sort of a project at the exact same time to be able to see the differences and then merge the two works together really enables parallel development um, instead of sort of getting a serial development with only one person working at a time. So here what we've done we can easily see the, change, the screens that have changed so when I was doing those changes I only changed two screens we can come here where the default view is to only show what's changed, but we can actually open up our, our view and see the entire application. So now I see all the different screens that are inside of this application, and we can see the, only the controller and the music screen changed. So if I come into here, I can see the changes all were on this one layer. So inside of here, we can see that the, the blue button changed, um, the DVR title, um, when we open it up, we can see the, the text and color of the font changed. Um, the yellow button changed position the red button so these are all the different buttons I moved about and then we come down to the music screen you can see that the album art when we look at the image I I grew the the album art so I changed the size of the box it was in and then on the image I turned the scale flag on um, same with the play button you can see that I I moved its position and the rewind button so you can see all these changes and you know that's it's very useful to be able to pull out these properties and see each individual piece one step above and beyond that that we wanted to include is when you're dealing with a graphical product, people want to see the changes graphically. So now if we come into our piece, we can quickly and easily switch over to a, a graphical compare mode. And now when I look at that same screen, I'll see the actual images of the screen before and after of what it looked like. So here in this view, I can see the buttons moved and how the different title looks. And if we come down to the music screen, we can see all the different changes to and I can open it up and actually look at the individual pieces just by themselves on the screen to see how they looked before and after. So these two pieces coming together really make it a lot easier for me to 
sort of evaluate and see how things are changing when other people are changing my model to actually understand what all did they change. So if somebody else was working on my project uh, at the same time I was, I want to go back and look and see, okay, what did he do compared to what I did? Okay, yeah, these changes are good, bring them in. So this is a very big important part when you're actually trying to have a team work together to create a product and a user interface is such a large piece of all new products that being able to work in parallel and collaborate is an important part. So we're looking forward to everybody being able to try this out soon. So please make sure to come back in two weeks and download our evaluation and to give the collaboration uh, your, your own try. Anyways, thanks and 